that's me. It's almost a year since I got my Bauer NS quad skates, roller skates. Um, I just did a little video, take a look on the internet today, see what other options there are for upgrades and uh, see what like, modifications and changes I can make to upgrade them and keep the same boot. Right, let's get this on and see what it's about. I bought some tabs already, um, so I've got some stuff to go on, I'm not searching around for ages, so I've been doing some looking already. Um, first up is just an upgrade of the Bauer NS. Um, this is Ollie's skate shop where I got mine from, although I got mine through the eBay shop. Um, they've been really good, so I wouldn't hesitate but to buy from them again. And my Bowers are getting a little bit tatty around the edges just where they've been used so much. These are the new XLP, which are more or less the same thing as the Bauer NS. They've got a little bit more fleecing and a little bit more padding in them, so I think they should be a bit warmer and they should be a bit uh, more comfortable on the toes. They've actually changed the plate that they're using for these skates now. So mine's got the Playmaker ADC plate on the bottom, which is pretty basic. Uh, this is a nicer quality plate. This is the Rock plate, which I think is sure grip. So with that in mind, I was having a look at some plates um, that I could use to upgrade my skates because while well, they're a bit tatty, there, there's nothing wrong with them. I had a look on Skate Hut, again I've used them for other things and I think they're really good. Um, looks like their options are quite expensive starting at 145 um, It's fine, <laughs> that's, that's probably reasonable price what I, was expected, what I was hoping to spend on some upgrades. But there are some cheaper options available. So yeah, Shore Grip Rock, uh, this is the one from those Bowers earlier on Ollie Skate, uh, Ollie skate Shop. Uh, 55 quid come in a few different colours. You can see here they take this, they take the 3 8 inch um, stoppers, which uh, front stops, which means I can put on like a jam stop or something there, which is sort of something I'm missing from my current ones, with the very thin, uh, very thin bolt hole. Uh, they, they, they just don't, don't take nice stoppers. These are plastic or nylon, I think. Um, some people prefer that as a bit more flex in the plate. On the other hand, you've got these aluminium plates. They're aluminium, so they shouldn't be too heavy. Uh, I think they're quite rigid plates when they're made of metal. They look pretty sick though. Uh, these ones are 95 pounds, so under 100 pounds. Um, my size is out of stock, but I think that'd be cool to put on the bottom of my skates. I think that's a good price. Also, once I've got those, I could put on a grind block and see if I can take on the skate park. I did take a look on the Shore Grip website, uh, it's an American site so it's all in dollars. I'm not sure if these could be imported here, but you've got the Avanti plate for $119. Classic plate, looks cool. One thing I did notice about this, this one's only got a 10 degree kingpin. So the kingpins, it means the kingpins are basically straight. I think the default's about 20, um, means you don't get too much. It makes it easy to push forward and harder to turn. And then you get some as wide as 45, which will make it really easy to turn. These are 10 degrees, so that seems really, really shallow to me. Um, who knows? Well, if anyone does know, let me know. But yeah, they could be cool. I might, I might consider getting some of those. I also found these power, power dime ones on eBay for 60 quid. Seems, seems similar to the rock, um, rock plates. These are made by Rydell um, Powerdyne, so quite a big company in America, which own Moxie skates as well, you might be familiar with. Cool. Uh, that's it for the like, upgrades of my skates. Now, what could be an upgrade to my skate? Flanners is this company that popped up recently that does detachable plates, so you can wear your shoes. And then just attach plates from the bottom of them. You see me carrying mine around with the strap over my shoulder. This would be more convenient to chuck them in your bag, eh? So, this would be a cool idea. These flaneurs are expensive. 400 euros. And then you've got, to, I think you've got to send them the shoe as well. I mean, that makes sense, wouldn't it? You've got to send them the shoe, and then you've got to pay them 400 euros to convert them and put a plate in the bottom. That's £332 in English money. 
I was thinking about doing it with the Adidas Forum mids. I think these are really cool. Uh, I like that little Velcro bit on the top. I think these make six six skates. Uh, I wouldn't mind wearing them around the rest of the time. Something to think about, but what's that like? 400 and something pounds after I bought everything and sent off for them to be done. Well, I can see how many views these videos get. If it gets enough, I'll buy some Forum mids. So from Fleurs again, you've got the slaves. These are like an all-in-one solution, so it's their own shoe combined with their plate, the same thing as the like build your own flaneurs. Available in black and white, quite basic, but yeah, the same sort of convenience with a nice Nike blazer looking shoe. So something to think about. They just clip off with this key here. I think that's quite cool as well. Those ones are 191, so it's half price, if you know, because you get a shoe and everything. So that's alright. Next up is the novelty round or the novelty section. This is something I, I saw a while ago and I thought about. Um, I thought about getting it. Look at those. I feel like they'd be awful, but they're kind of funny, aren't they? I think they'd be kind of cool. But yeah, I, I just feel like they'd ride crap. I might get some though. I might get some like a video. Um, these are £99, and I don't know what the European sizes are, but mm, that's probably my size, isn't it? Um, yeah, £99. I'm kind of tempted. It'd be a good video at least, wouldn't it? Alright, well that's the end. Um, if you've got any questions or recommendations for me, then do feel free to drop me a comment. Thanks very much for watching, and feel free to subscribe to keep up with the other videos. Thanks very much. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.